Welcome on uh, how to create a Mentor Use Profile on Windows Server 2008 R2. First off, what is a Mentor User Profile? A Mentor User Profile is nothing more than a, what it says, a Mentor Profile. All users get the same profile uh, when they log on to a server or a machine. Um, this profile hasn't got any user customizations, so it's lean, clean and loads faster on a server or workstation. Um, okay, how to create it? First off, we have to create a profile share which will hold the user profile. So I create a folder profiles and share this folder as Profiles dollar, so it won't show up in any network neighborhood or something. Remove everyone. Add authenticated users and add domain admins. Domain admins get full control. Authenticated users get read rights apply. So that's one. I have to create. A user, a local user. This can also be a roaming uh, user, but uh, to keep it simple, uh, local user is easier. Change password. Close. Make this user. Uh, member of the administrators group so you won't run to in any errors uh, if you want to customize the user profile now log off and log back in again with the just created user so mandatory First time you use login in, it has to get all default user profiles. Okay, close the server manager. I won't tweak this profile because that's not in the URL. Log off and log back in again with the domain admin account. Now we have to copy the profile of the user we just created to the share we created, but we don't see enough at this moment, so we have to take show hidden files, folders and drives, untake height extensions for known file types and protected operating system files, apply, ok now we see everything. We copy the folder to the profile share and we name this to v2. In this way uh, Active Directory will recognize that this is a generation next profile so in you which can be used only for Windows Vista 2008 and higher so Windows 7, Windows 2008 R2. Here you, you see the anti user to that. This is the registry hive. We have to load into regedit to grant the user's rights. I made it mandatory. Permissions. Remove, 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 remove. Add authenticated users check names read 
get full control and replace all child object permissions. Okay, now we unload the hive. Yes. Rename. Enter user pun. Point dot to empty user dot pot dot man. In this way, it will be mandatory. Delete this. App data. You can delete local and local low. These are local settings, so we don't need them for one new profile. Now the user profile is about one megabyte, so this should be loaded very fast. Now we have to set the security on the profile, and at okay. Domain admins, full control of course, and authenticated users get read and execute list folder contents and read writes on the folder. That's it. The profile has been created. Now we have to assign it, of course. You can do this with a good policy management, which I like very much because then it's effective for all users. I will assign it to a remote desktop session, so it will be a terminal server user profile. Use mentor profiles on the RD session host server. You have to enable this. And in the next setting, create to the uh, mandatory profile and you leave you omit here the dot uh, v2 uh, windows is smart enough to detect uh, the operating system and that it needs the v2 afterwards so that's it thank you for your time i hope this is helpful in some way Okay, bye for now.